Number 8. 1990 No S. Lincoln Sent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the S mint mark was inadvertently left off the die used to strike about 100 to 150 proof Lincoln cents in 1990, creating this popular guidebook and cherry pickers variety. This spectacular PR69 example displays full definition on all design elements, and the deeply mirrored fields contrast profoundly with the frosty devices. The original red surfaces are one tick away from technical perfection. It was sold for $4,800. Number 7. 1940s Mercury Dime. Graded in mint state 68 full bands by PCGS. It should be easy for this remarkable high-grade specimen to find a buyer. Boasting near-perfect preservation, booming mint luster, and a razor-sharp strike, there are few coins that can match this superb example for either technical or visual supremacy. It was sold for $4,440. Number 6. 1941 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. Cherry Pickers lists three Double Die Obverse varieties for the 1941 Philadelphia Cent. Within that trio, FS103 appears to be the rarest in Mint State. It also exhibits the widest doubling on the date, evident west of the upper curl of the 9 in the date. At the MS66 Red level, FS103 is an important conditional rarity. It was sold for $5,040. Number 5. 1953s Jefferson Nickel. Graded in Mint State 65 plus full steps by PCGS. The 1953s is one of the most difficult issues in the Jefferson Nickel series to acquire in full steps, with only 29 such coins reported at PCGS in all grades, as of January 2024. This rare specimen displays delicate champagne color accents on each side. No major abrasions are seen. It was sold for $6,300. Number 4. 1958 Wheat Scent in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. A plus designation and CAC approval speak to the outstanding technical and visual qualities that this superb gem scent possesses. Copper orange surfaces void of abrasions shimmer with thick frost when rotated. It was sold for $9,000. Number 3. 1932 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus red by PCGS. The Great Depression reduced demand for coinage, and the 1932 Philadelphia Cent production amounted to only 9,062,000 pieces. It was the lowest business mintage of any Philadelphia Mint Lincoln Cent issue. The present superb gem displays seamless orange gold color aside from a hint of rose red above the E in 1. It was sold for $10,200. Number 2. 1944D Lincoln Cent with repunched Mint Mar D over S. This is the rarer of two 1944DS varieties and the one referenced in the guidebook. The top of the initial S protrudes visibly from the top of the D examples are elusive in full red condition, and only a handful of pieces are in superb gem preservation. Several repunched mint mark varieties also exist for this issue but are less visually prominent. It was sold for $23,400. Number 3. 1936 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. Strong doubling is evident on the date, liberty, and the motto in God we trust. The Cherry Picker's Guide notes this variety, one of three significant double dies for this date, is extremely rare in mint state. This coin exhibits sharply detailed design elements and impeccably preserved original red surfaces, with vibrant mint luster and terrific eye appeal. It was sold for $34,800. Number 7. 1964 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in mint state 67 plus red by NGC. According to Jamie Hernandez from PCGS, the 1964D is common in circulated grades up to MS64. In MS65 they are a little harder to find but probably many still in original and even open rolls. In MS66 condition they become scarce with possibly under 1,000 available combined between raw and certified examples. There are probably more in original rolls but getting harder to find. There are probably very few if any at all in open rolls as these are usually pulled out and sold as singles or are sent in to be graded. 
In MS 67 it is one of the tougher dates from the 1960s especially from the Denver Mint. End of quote. Plus designated specimens and anything grading higher is considered rare. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $1,321.88 with buyer's fee. Number 6. 1951 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 plus read by PCGS and further confirmed by CAC. According to PCGS, the 1951 S. Lincoln Cent is common up to MS 66 condition. In MS 67 it becomes much scarcer. Examples grading above MS 67 are scarce overall but with enough searching, examples in this condition can be found. PCGS reports 53 specimens in Mint State 67 plus with just two numerically finer. This lustrous example ended up selling for $2,418.75 with buyer's fee on January 28, 2024. Number 5. 1974 D. Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 plus by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this golden-tinged beauty is exceptionally well-preserved for a circulation strike Eisenhower dollar. It is among the 10 finest certified by PCGS from a mintage of 45,517,000 pieces. It was sold for $5,520. Number 4. 1976D Bicentennial Quarter Struck on a Dime Planchet. Graded in Mint State 64 by NGC. Is is an extremely rare error coin with fewer than four pieces known to exist. Boldly lustrous surfaces, fully brilliant and with no marks worthy of mention. Nicely centered, but just slightly high, giving room for the date and mint mark to be visible, if not complete. Sharp central detail. A visually dramatic error due to the large difference in sizes between the quarter dies and dime planchet. It was sold for $6,462.50. Number 3. 1959 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This virtually pristine beauty really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Bright, vivid surfaces possess full mint color in deep orange. The devices are sharply struck and possess a soft satin texture that contrasts markedly with deep reflectivity in the fields. Both sides are pristine in appearance, as befits the assigned grade. It ended up selling for $19,200. Number 2. 1945 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this awe-inspiring superb gem offers not only superior technical quality, but also outstanding eye appeal. The peripheries are splashed with vivid multicolored toning that gives way to softer powder blue and antique silver iridescence in the centers. Smooth enough to please even the most discerning numismatist, we anticipate strong competition for this extraordinary coin between advanced Washington Quarter enthusiasts. It was sold for $20,400. Number 1. 1917 Lincoln Cent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 66 read by PCGS. Here is an essentially pristine representative of this coveted double die variety. Vivid mint orange color is as bright and fresh as the day the coin was produced. The fully struck devices are enhanced by frosty mint luster that extends throughout the fields. Beautiful to look at and technically exceptional. The 1917 FS 101 is one of the most pronounced double die obverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Cent series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. This true rarity ended up selling for $21,600. Number 8. 1990 Lincoln Cent Graded in Mint State 69 read by PCGS. According to grading service, the 1990p Lincoln cents come very well struck. Examples up to about MS67 are abundant. Only in MS68 or higher are they scarce. MS69 specimens are rare and just two specimens have been certified. That fine in this lofty grade. Including this superb gem, this lustrous numismatic pinnacle ended up selling for $5,625 with buyer's fee. Number 
Number 7. Amazing Error Coin 1993 Jefferson Nichols Struck Over 1992 Lincoln Cent Graded in Mint State 67 Read by NGC According to Heritage Auctions, in addition to its status as a double denomination error coin, this piece actually spans two different years. The 1993 Jefferson Nickel was struck over a previously minted 1992 Lincoln cent. The 1992 date from the Lincoln cent is clearly visible on the reverse. This amazing superb gem is fully brilliant with rich orange mint luster. This true rarity ended up selling for $6,900. Number 6 here is 1975 Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 68, read by PCGS. Only the most competitive registry sets will include a 1975 Lincoln Cent in the impossibly high grade. PCGS reports just 4 specimens with non-finer. This elusive gem was bargained for $9,000. Number 5, 1976 S Bicentennial Canada of Dollar, graded in Mint State 69 by NGC. According to Heritage Auctions, the nation's bicentennial celebration was widely celebrated at the time, and special reverse designs for the quarter, half dollar, and dollar were created to mark the occasion. The coins all showed a dual 1776-1976 date on the obverse. The half dollar reverse was independence halls as a centerpiece was designed by Seth Huntington. In addition to regular issue clad coinage, 11 million silver clad uncirculated specimens were struck and offered in sets and 4 million silver clad proofs were struck for collectors. This magnificent silver clad MS69 specimen exhibits sharply detailed design elements throughout and virtually flawless surfaces are lustrous and appealing. It was sold for $9,600. Number 4. 1967 SMS Roosevelt Dime Graded in Mint State 68 Deep Cameo by PCGS SMS stands for Special Mint Set A stunning white on black appearance greets the viewer On the superb gem, Deep Cameo Crisp detail is seen in Roosevelt's hair As the vertical lines and bands of the torch It was sold for $9,987.50 Number 3, 1968 S quarter dollar, struck on a 90% silver planchet, graded as PR64 by PCGS. The coin is reflective in the fields, complementing sharp motifs, each side is virtually brilliant. A few minor marks are seen beneath the loop, the white edge of this piece, confirming the silver planchet alloy, is readily visible in edge view holder. It was sold for $11,700. Number 2, 1992 D. Lincoln Cent with Close AM, graded as MS64 Red and Brown by PCGS. Lincoln Cent specialists are aware that proof dies during much of 1990s and 2000s differed in design from business strikes. The distance between the feet of AM in America is a pickup point, as is the distance between the FG initials and the memorial. One die pair intended for production in 1993 was inadvertently used for Denver strikes in 1992, and due to the high attrition rate of modern scents, only a few examples have been located. This lustrous orange gold near gem was sold for $20,700. Number 1, 1977 D. Eisenhower dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet, graded in mint state 63 by NGC. A clad Eisenhower dollar should weigh 22.7 grams. Walter Breen states in his 1988 encyclopedia that about 15 pieces are known struck on planchets intended for 40% silver San Francisco Bicentennial Ike dollars. This is a lustrous a nicely struck mint error with peripheral straw gold toning and a few minor obverse field grazes. The strike details are remarkably strong throughout, undoubtedly from being struck in silver, which is much softer than the usual nickel. This elusive specimen was sold for $26,400.
Number 7. 1957 Rosewood Time with Four Bands, graded as MS67FB by PCGS. According to Coin Facts of Given Coin Grading Service, the 1957P Rosewood Time is really common. It has the largest vintage from 1947 to 1958. Over 160 million examples were struck and just about anyone can buy one very inexpensively and close to the spot price of silver. Without full bands, it's very common up to MS66 condition and it begins to be scarce in MS67 grade and higher. With a full bands designation, it is scarce in any condition. In MS67, with full bands, it's very hard to obtain and it looks like a very undervalued coin since very few have been found in this condition or higher. This MS67 specimen ended up selling for $504. Number 6. 1971 Canadian Elf Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. According to NGC Price Guide, as of January 2024, a Kennedy half dollar from 1971 in circulated condition is worth between 60 cents and 75 cents. However, on the open market, 1971 half dollar in pristine uncirculated condition sell for as much as $2,050. This MS67 graded superb gem fetched a sum of $1,200 at auction. Number 5. Attractively toned 1942 Jefferson Nickel Type 1, graded as PR68 Plus by NGC and further approved by CAC. According to Stax Powers, this silky smooth example shimmers with delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. According to Jaime Hernandez, in 1942 the US Mint struck two different proof Jefferson nickels. It struck the Type 1 clad version and it also struck Type 2 silver version. The Type 1 does not have a P mint mark while the Type 2 silver does have a P mint mark. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. In PR67 they are scarcer, then in PR68 or higher they are very scarce to rare. This one was sold for $3,600. Number 4. 1925 D. Lincoln Cent, graded in Mint State 65 plus red by PCGS. The 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent is often called the king of Lincoln Cents. However, despite being abundant and lower grade, the 1925 D is scarcer in full red gem. Most Mint State examples either have mushy strikes, browning or spots, making this piece, which features none of those drawbacks, a remarkable survivor, with brilliant rose-red surfaces and an exceptional strike for this usually weak issue. It is a super attractive coin and it ended up selling for $7,200. Number 3, 1939 Jefferson Nickel with double die reverse, graded as MS66 FS by PCGS. A superior example of this popular double die reverse variety that will do justice to an advanced Jefferson Nickel set. Frosty surface is present as brilliant at most viewing angles, although direct lightning reveals subtle pastel shadings of gold, powder blue, and pink. The strike is exceptionally well executed with full detail that even extends to the steps, portico, and the roof of Monticello. The prominent doubling to the words Monticello and denomination 5 cents confirms FS801 attribution for this 1939 nickel. This specimen was sold for $6,900. Nineteen fifty five Lincoln Cent was double die obverse, graded in mean state sixty four red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, this coin displays exceptional preservation and eye appeal for this perennially popular Lincoln Cent variety. Drenched in vivid pinkish rose color, both sides also sport lively mint luster in setting to softly frosted texture. The strike is sharp to full throughout the design, the surface is knocking on the door of even higher numeric grade. It is estimated that about 3,000 to 4,000 1955 double diverse sets exist. All pieces have reverse die misalignment about 5% counterclockwise from the normal 1980 degree rotation, a feature evident on present example. 
It was sold for $22,200. Number 1. 1916 D Mercury Dime Graded in Mint State 65 by PCGS, the 1916 D Mercury Dime stands as cornerstone of the series, boasting an impressively low production of 264,000 coins. Following at a considerable distance, the 1921P and 1921D releases each account for slightly over 1 million pieces. Although generally well struck, the 1916D exhibits an atypical great distribution with many specimens falling within the fair or almost good to very good range while the occasional fine coin surfaces among collectors the 1916d in uncirculated grades hold particular allure this specimen was sold for twenty eight thousand and eight hundred dollars number eight 1967 kennedy half dollar Graded in Mint State 66 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a richly toned silver clad half dollar. The obverse features a colorful mixture of red, green and gold iridescence that must be viewed to fully appreciate it. The reverse is mostly brilliant with some rainbow tones at the border. It was sold for $2,232.50. Number 7. 1925s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925 S. Lincoln scent is scarce in Mint State with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This highly sought-after penny fetched a sum of $2,640. Number 8. 1932 D. Washington Quarter graded in Mint State 64 by PCGS. This debut year Denver issue is one of the two key dates in the Washington Quarter series and is scarce above MS-64. CAC endorsed pieces are elusive even in the current grade and are rare finer. This well-struck coin displays satiny mint luster with a tinge of golden toning. Minimal abrasions are apparent. It was sold for $3,360 on January 10, 2024. Number 5. 1943 S. Jefferson Nickel Struck on a Zinc-Coated Steel Scent Planchet. Graded as AU55 by NGC. An interesting mistake occurred at the Mint. Someone placed a 1943 steel planchet, intended for a scent, into the nickel hopper. The result, a 1943 S. Nickel Struck on a 1-cent planchet. Deep steel gray surfaces with light wear. It was sold for $4,112.50. Number 4. 1909 SVDB Scent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red and Brown by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions the popularity is undiminished for this San Francisco issue, with claims to the favorite regular issue coin in the entire US series. This is an original and pleasing gem uncirculated example, with lustrous orange color beneath smooth brown overtones. A few tiny flecks blend in, while I appeal remains strong. It an up selling for $5,280. Number 3. 1968 No S. Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 by NGC. According to Stax Bowers, a gem proof of extraordinary eye appeal, a coin with deeply mirrored surfaces that proclaim full mint brilliance. The devices exhibit faint frost in a bright light source, especially at the peripheral legends. The 1968 No S. Dime was the first of the proof S. Less varieties to come to light in numismatics. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $28,200. Number 2. 1916 Buffalo Nickel with Double Die Obverse. Graded as AU55 by PCGS. Of all Buffalo Nickels, the 1916 Double Die Obverse is the rarest of the major die varieties and also one of the most spectacular. The offered coin is a frosty golden gray specimen with exceptional luster and eye appeal for the grade. Bold doubling is noted at the feathers and the Native American's lips, chin, and neck, and of course, at the date where the doubling is bold and distinct. It was sold for $30,561.75. Number 1. 
1944 D. Lincoln sent struck on a zinc-plated steel planchet. Graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. Deep steel gray with marginally lighter high points. Low magnification reveals a small patch of light roughness around Lincoln's forehead and a trust, a trivial matter given the strong rarity of the issue, and probably the cause of its mint state 62 ranking. No doubt struck early in 1944, in Denver, when the steel blanks of 1943 were being ushered out of the system to make way for the 1944 cent. It is presumed that a small number of steel zinc planchets were stuck in the press hoppers or tote bins.